Today I'm quickly going over how to customize your desktop shortcuts on your computer. You can change them to literally any image you can think of, and it's pretty simple to do. This is going to work for both Windows 10 and 11. Let's just get right into it. All right, I'm going to start out with these two really simple default icons for both a shortcut and an actual folder, because it's a slightly different process for each type. All you have to do to customize it is right click on it and on Windows 11 you can click properties right here. On Windows 10 your menu will look like this and properties is at the bottom and you'll see right away on this main page there's a change icon button. If for some reason you're not on this menu you'll have to go to the shortcut tab up at the top but it should be there by default. So when you click change icon you'll be presented with some icons that are already on your computer but obviously you're going to want more options than that so for now we're going to back out of this. All right, so I just opened up an internet browser and to start, if you want to just find an image online that's already made for you, you can go ahead and do that. Let's say I want to change the Chrome desktop icon to something else. I would just look up what I want and go to the images tab and find one. So a quick tip to get a transparent background image so it's not actually a white square like this is to look up PNG at the end of your search. And when you click on that image, it should have this like black square grid in the background that's showing you that it's transparent. Once I find one I like, all I have to do is right click it, select save image as, and then just hit save so you can download it. So now that I have that image in my downloads folder, it's actually not ready to be an icon yet because it's a PNG image file. So all you have to do is go to this website here, which I'll leave in the description. It's just a file converter that's actually free. So right here, I have it selected to convert a PNG to an ICO. So the ICO file is the type that we need in order to make it an icon. Next thing you want to do is right here where it says width and height. They're on 32 by default, but you're going to want something a little bit higher quality than that. So I set mine to 512 by 512. That way I get an actual good, clean, high quality image. Once I have that set up, I click select file and here's the image I downloaded. I'll just select that and open it and then you get the convert button over here. It takes like a second to do and uh, once it's finished you can click download and now you're good to go. Beyond just using Google Images to make it even easier there's this website that I found called icon-icons.com where it has a bunch of icons here for you already and you can just search so if I wanted something similar to what I had there's a lot available here and you could download these straight as an icon file without having to use the converter. Beyond that, there's actually a way that you can completely customize your own icon and make it unique to you. If you want to do that for free, there's the website photop.com that you could use, which is just a free image editor. Uh, what you would do is click new project, go to the width and height over here and make them that same 512 by 512. And for the background, instead of white, you're going to want transparent and then you click on create. And now you have a little transparent square canvas that you could go ahead and add images to or mess around with You're all your own thing, whatever you want. When you're finished with your project, you can click file then export as and then more and you'll see the option here for ICO okay so now that I have my ICO file ready to go right now it's in my downloads folder but I'm gonna move it to a different folder because if it stays in the download folder I'll probably end up moving it or deleting it by accident at some point and then that icon will lose its image and it won't look right so what I suggest you do is just put a folder somewhere that you put your custom icons in so I actually have a folder on my computer called icons and wallpapers that I created. I put all sorts of stuff in here like my desktop wallpapers or whatever icons and such that I need to save for later. So I'm going to go ahead and move that out of the downloads folder into its own special folder. And you could do that by clicking on it and dragging it. You can press control X to cut and then go to your folder and click control V to paste. So now it's safely in here. It should never get deleted or even touched when it's in here. And now we're actually ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Google Chrome desktop shortcut, right click it, go into properties again, and then we're going to click change icon, then click this browse button right here. It's going to be where we have to go find the file that we want to use. So I'm just right in my folder where I have my custom icons. And here is the one we're going to use. So I'll click on it and then click open. 
it should appear right there press ok and then the final step is click apply and then ok and you'll see it's changed now looks a lot better so that's for the shortcuts if you want to do a folder like i have this custom folder icon that i use here these two things are actually folders as well for my apps and my games for a folder you right click it go to properties and instead of it being exactly the same as a shortcut you're going to have to go to the customize tab here and then you'll see the change icon button here and you'll do the same thing where you select browse here i'll make this one that same gray folder um, press ok apply and then ok and there we go so now that one's custom as well so long as you keep those icon files safe somewhere they'll never change back even when you shut down your computer turn it back on it'll always stay custom like i have here and that's it i hope this video helped you. I hope you're able to follow along good. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in a comment. Thank you guys for watching.